Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of UCTV Alive for Kids. I'm your host Dr Louise Grimmer from the University of Tasmania and I'm really excited for this episode because we're welcoming back a presenter who came on a few weeks ago and talked to us about making beeswax wraps and that person is of course Marie Backer from EPA Tasmania. Welcome back to the show Marie. Hi Louise. Thank you so much for coming Hi. back in. Which way am I heading? Oh yes. <laughs> Come this way. Oh, Come I'd like closer. To go on the screen. <laughs> there we are. That's better. Ooh, that um, funny. Look, welcome Sorry. back to the show, and thanks so much for coming on again. We're going to be talking about paper crafts today. Yes. And it's going to be a very practical session again, which is a lot of fun. We're going to learn how to make some paper crafts. Now we are having a small technical difficulty with our audio. It's a little bit out of sync. So I hope you'll bear with us. But let's get underway, Marie. What are we going to do today? Mm, I'm just thinking we might have to speak slowly or something funny <laughs> to make the sound sync with our lips. But let's try not to make it too distracting. Um, today we're going to have a conversation about paper. And um, we're going to make some handmade paper. Oh, that's wonderful. So, of course, um, you know, we'll... We'll talk about why as we go along. Mm. I've got lots because, of questions for yes. you. As you know, I'm all about reducing, reusing and recycling. And where I work, that's a big topic at the moment, about reducing waste, reducing waste to landfill. Before we get into mm. all of these practical things that we're going to do, how much waste do we actually make each year? Mm. Uh, Tasmanians make about 750,000 tonnes of waste per annum. So with a population of about 500,000, that's a lot. That's a lot, lot of, of waste, waste, isn't it? Is it about one tonne per person per yeah, year? Yeah, because we recycle and compost about 43%. So if we do our numbers, maybe we all generate uh, around three quarters of a tonne. Gee, person. that's a lot, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and that comes from um, when there's a building and they have construction waste, which could some of it could be recycled, by the way. Um, and uh, commercial and industrial waste like lots of cardboard in shops mm. like in the landfill and offcuts from factories and, of course, what we generate in the home. We generate a lot of food waste, by the way. A lot of food yes. waste and a lot of packaging waste, I was thinking, too. A lot too. of packaging, mm. a lot of plastic, a lot of glass, um, you know, and, of course, we have things that are made up of all sorts of things like our toys might, might have plastic mm. in them and fabric and metal and those sorts of things when they break are really hard to recycle. To recycle. Yeah. And because we're talking about paper and cardboard today, how much of the waste that we generate is actually paper and cardboard? Uh, it's about 223 kilos per person. Gosh, that's a lot. Yeah. Wow. So I don't know if you get a few students together and imagine how much... How many students might make 220? Yeah, kilos. like about three I'm or quite, four students, do you think? Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, I'm quite a big, tall adult, and it would be about three of me. Yeah, gee. So, so that's yeah, a lot. lot. So so you're going to show us some, some ways today to make our own paper and to make yeah. fun things with paper and yeah. to think about how we might use or reuse some of the paper we already have. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, shall we get underway? Yeah, and, and um, we can keep chatting about mm. other things too. I'm a bit hot, I'll take my jumper off. It's a bit warm in here after all. Um, so, yeah, we generate a lot of paper. So we talked about, oh, here we are again, off the <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, look, that's yeah, good. We'll yeah, just, great. We'll just make and do. There we go. Um, we use paper we use, I mean, we can all brainstorm, think about all the different paper we use, um, cardboard, Packaging, tissue, packaging, tissues, yeah. Um, paper towels. Half off the screen, half on. Paper towels. Um, wrapping paper? Wrapping. Uh, lots of cardboard cereal boxes. Oh, cereal cardboard, boxes, yep. Um, all sorts of things. And office paper. And, um, of course, we could think about how paper is made and how paper was made in the past. So in the past, people made paper out of linen. Oh, yes. Um, there's something about the black, the plague... People, I think there was a lot of clothes left over after people died. Oh, yeah, cotton <laughs> and rags and things. Were made of linen. Yes. Yep. So, um, what happens is people were able to pull apart that and make beautiful paper out of linen. And that's why a lot of our paper 
from books from 100 years ago are still okay because mm. they were made from linen. Such high quality, beautiful, good paper. Quality. Yes. But um, there's only so much flax in the world and people decided to make paper from trees. Yes, they did. Um, and that yeah. has some issues, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we can all think about what kinds of animals live in the trees and how if we cut down a lot of trees, we're going to lose those animals. So we can have a brainstorm about that. Some kids put up their hand and say wombats but not really um <laughs> birds possums you know on the, or the insects that the birds eat flying foxes koalas um, koalas not not in tassie mm. nor flying foxes but um yeah and even smaller smaller things like caterpillars and yeah and ants and yep. and all so sorts of insects it's kind of like for many um organisms that's the base of their kind of well that's their habitat and so if we cut down trees there's less habitat for those animals. Mm. And if we use a lot of paper, we have to cut down more trees. So that's why I'm here. That's so, it. <laughs> <laughs> so if we're recycling, we're obviously saving the trees. Yes, that's right. So and, and the more trees we have, the better for the environment for all sorts of reasons. Yeah. Oh, there's... there's more oxygen. Yeah. What else? Yeah. What else? Um, Think about what, what trees are good for, mm. people who are watching. So All yeah. the good things. And we'll, we'll talk yeah. about those things. We can talk about those. Yeah. Yeah. So let's have um, a look and see. You've got look. lots of bits of interesting equipment here. Yes, I have a tub, and it's probably hard for you to get perspective, but this is a tub, uh, a plastic tub. We talked about plastic last time. This is very useful plastic. We we'll use it a lot. <laughs> and I put some warm water in here, um, and it's probably about four centimetres tall, full of water. And I'd made up this pulp, which I'll show you what happens, how to do that. I got, the other day, Monday it was, I got some shredded paper from the office. And if you didn't have a shredder and you wanted to do this at home, you could just literally just get office paper, which is used on both sides. Mm, yes, of course. So you can use it <laughs> both sides. And you can rip it up into tiny pieces. And then I put that in my bucket, a big bucket, and I put um, boiling water on. So if you're doing this at home, of course... Um, be careful with boiling water and I left that overnight okay and it became <laughs> it looked like this this wet oh, so pulpy mm. stuff so that's the shredded paper that was soaked in hot water if you didn't have a blender or anything you can put that in a pillowcase and macerate it and until it becomes like a pulp so um, to precipitate that or make it go further, and to make it easier, because we have such things as electricity, um, I put it in a blender. Ah, so just a blender so, from the kitchen. Yeah, yep. I keep... Um, That's all right. That's good. <laughs> yeah. So I got some of that wet stuff that I just showed you. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit of water out. I'll get and you put some wet. water in the blender as well, oh, haven't I you? I put some water yep. in the blender and a handful of that... And that will become my pulp. Now it's about to get very noisy. Oh, now we're going to turn the blender on. I'll move the blender <laughs> over to here for now. There we go. So get some help with this, this bit at home. Yeah. Or you can use um, a bucket with a paint stirrer. In oh, it. right. Yeah, and just so that, and sort of that stuff mush it. in this bucket. Um, you can get the, the power drill and a paint stirrer, but not many people have a paint stirrer to, to do inside that bucket. Yeah. So, yeah, as I said, I took some of this and I put it in here. Right. Now we're going to make a loud noise, everybody. Make a loud noise. <laughs> we turn, turn the, blender the blender on. on. So not very much pulp for the amount of uh, water. Okay, so just half, half water and then, mm, yeah. Yeah, half water, one handful. Yeah. You don't want it very thick. Yep. Ready, set, go. That's probably enough. And turn it up. <laughs> it's like Ooh, a it's like a porridge or something, it's like isn't a porridge. it? Yeah. Oh, I've done it again. If I keep going off this thing. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> there we yeah. go. It's like a porridge. So and you don't want to do it go, too, and you don't want it too fine, obviously. Oh, you can make it 
fine. Or what's really nice is sometimes when you get little bits of paper left in it that accidentally haven't got mulched, see the bit on the end of my ring finger? Yes, yep. And sometimes it's got letters on it. Oh. So when you end up making the paper... Paper, it's got a little... It's got little letters on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I had already put some in my thing, but that's the um, mother culture, if you like, what you need to add to the water. Now, it's like a very thin soup. Extremely thin soup, and it's nice and warm. And if I was teaching, I'd probably make some up before we have the conversation about the trees and everything else. Yeah, because it's nice for it to sit in the warm water and get more fluffy and get softer. Oh, yes, it does get fluffy, doesn't it? The yeah. longer it sits so in the water, so if I just blend it and chuck it in, it might not be quite so ready. But I'm also terribly nervous because it's always a bit of an experiment. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to put my. That's the fun away. of it, Marie. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry if I'm on the screen off the screen. It's sticky. Ah, now, if we go back to there, yeah. So what I've got here, um, over here, is a, a towel and wet newspaper. I think it being wet it helps. And I've got what I call a couching cloth which could be just like a chuck super wipe or whatever. Originally, these things were from just the dust covers from the operation rooms in the hospital. Oh. So they're not hospital waste, classically. They're just um, cloths. Cloth, so ra and, a rather thin cloth. Yeah, yeah. like a... Um, yeah, like a yeah, chucks. <laughs> like a chuck yeah. super wipe, like yeah. a kitchen cloth. So, or a nappy. I've got other ones there, nappy liners. Oh, yes. People had... Yep. Um, cloth nappies. Yep. So I'm going to put this on my wet newspaper. So you've just wet the newspaper just sort of, it's not yep. sopping is it? It's just no, sort of just a bit damp. Wet. Yep. And now here we go. We have a mould and a decal. Oh. Now these are quite big. I've misplaced oh. my other ones. So I get mixed up. I think that's the decal and it's got fine mesh on top and um, beautiful wooden thing and this is probably centuries old this technology and this thing fits snugly over the top and it's called the mold and I think that means that it molds the right shape so uh, it's important to have the wire stuff on the top not like that mm, yeah you want yeah. the wire on the top Do you want the flat surface yeah, yeah. let me put our mold on and I'll give my stuff in the bath a little swish around. <laughs> and then I'm going to go deep sea diving. I'm going to go down like that and stay Ooh. around the bottom for a while. I'm not, I'm not putting my thumbs on top. And I'm going to give it a little swish. Yeah. And I'm going to come up. Oh, it's terribly oh. thin. <laughs> um, and I can see that it's too thin because it's sort of holes. You can see the wire. Yeah, I need to add more porridge. Yeah. So back we go. <laughs> and the way to get it back in is to go tap, tap. So it is a little experimenting required. No, that's good that that happened because you can show what to yep. do if, if it doesn't quite work. So put yep. in more porridge in more porridge. make it a bit thicker. I made up some the other day, so I'll put that in. <laughs> I guess it's a bit of a, a fine art to try and work out exactly how thick to get your yeah. porridge. Yeah, and some kids go, can I put it in? And everyone in the class puts some in. And then it's too thick. It and then it's too thick. <laughs> but then you can make a thicker card. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yeah. There are different thicknesses, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And while that's sort of warming up, if you like, I'll show you something that someone made. It was just a little... So you can use that pulp to make paper mache things. Um... That way. There we go. Oh, oh look at sorry, that. Everyone. I'll get this right one day. <laughs> it's very counterintuitive, everyone, know, what we're doing because like we see the opposite of what you see. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is how they make paper mache things in, um, I think they make them in India and they coat them with beautiful lacquer and stuff. It's oh, basically just that pulp. That's lovely, little bowl. And I bowl. put that in a cup, a yeah. plastic soft cup, and then it came out and it had, it had food dye in it. So, I don't know. Or you could, what you could do. Is make paper or something like this with seeds in it. Oh, nice! And then you can plant that thing. Yes, great. In the garden. 
Yep. Not weed seeds. No. But, no, um, flower seeds. Flower seeds. Yeah. So that could be like a little, um, a little um, what they call it, a little bomb. That's great. And that would be a good present for people too. Yeah, yeah, a seed, seed bomb. Mm, seed bomb. But the paper mache is how it holds it all together. Holds it together. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, that's I've got great. Um, a sample of what a friend made as a sample of paper, handmade oh, paper. So you can add colours to it. Wow. Um, food dye doesn't work very well. But you can add to this um, mix in here, you can add dye or um, petals or leaves or um, tissue paper. Tissue oh, paper yes. leaves a lot of colour. For the colour. Yeah. And you can make patterns. So can Look make at that. That's really clever. And swirls and things. Yeah. Um, and you can also decorate this later, which I'll show you. Now I'm going to go back again. Gee, I hope go diving works. again. Go diving again. <laughs> So I'll give it a little swish, figure of eight if you like, <laughs> and go deep sea diving again. <laughs> and I'm going to give it a wiggle, draw it up again, mm. and take this off. That looks better. Looks better. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to apologise ahead of time. I'm not used to making such big ones. But I've misplaced all my gear. I think I've lent it to a school and I can't remember who. So if you're out there and you've got my gear, let me know. <laughs> Please return so, Marie's gear. That's that. And you'll notice I've got like an old raincoat on the table and things. Um, what I love to do is, with schools is to do it on the veranda outside. Oh, yes, you know, because it's, so it's a bit nice. wet, isn't it? It's a, yeah. it's a, it's a good it's a mucky wet, craft. Yeah, you can get, like, you get your arms oh. wet, you get your... Everything went. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to come over here. Remember, this is my couching cloth. And I'm That's right. Going to yep. hold on my, the newspaper. Hold yes. my breath. Uh, you can just stand it up. Fingers really crossed, matter. everyone. It doesn't fall off. <laughs> Put that down there. Press it. Oh, you can see the water coming, yeah. coming through. And then slowly peel back. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> this is the magic of live television. Oh my goodness. Slowly peel back. Come on. Oh. Might have to go back again. Yeah, in theory. Nope, it's not coming off. I think it might have. Nope. It works <laughs> every other time I do it. I tell you. That's science in action, isn't that it? That is. Yep. Nope. Not working. Not working today. I'm going to go back again. We'll try again. Courage. We'll try and we can keep talking while we're doing this. We'll keep talking. Yeah. I was going to ask you um, how we can think about some of those ways that we can reuse paper. I know where I work um, at the university, we've taken some really big steps to try and reduce our paper use mm. through trying to print on double sides for paper when we have to and perhaps trying not to print things out and try to take our laptops or our devices to meetings or for teaching and things yeah. so that we're not printing out so much paper. Um, what are some of the... Uh, oh, I know something that I was going to mention. I get toilet paper from a company that wraps it in really nice paper mm. and I've actually reused that paper to wrap <laughs> yeah. up gifts because yes. it's it, <laughs> it's really nice paper and um, you know it's black and white and there's different patterns and, and yeah. I've wrapped up lots of um, small yeah. presents in that paper. I've also reused a big calendar sheet that I have on my oh. um, in my office that is a big every month has big black and white letters and you can tear off the paper and I've wrapped up presents and they look amazing with oh. black and white paper. So there's lots of ways you can reuse things, aren't there? Yeah. Maybe uh, people watching can think about some of the the um, other sorts of paper you could use for wrapping up presents because there's no need to really go and buy wrapping paper. You can reuse wrapping paper that people have given yeah. you as well. My friend teased me because I... Every Christmas, it's pretty much the same paper yeah. for a few years. <laughs> well, I think that's great. The other thing is um, there are some cultures that wrap up presents in cloth. The Japanese, for example. Oh, yeah. Um, and I've often wrapped up presents in brand new tea towels. So you give someone a tea towel as well as, yeah. you know, the present. 
So yeah, you know, I'm, going I'm, with your... what we'll do after this, hopefully this works this time, <laughs> is we can show I can show you how to make things out of old calendars. Oh, yes. We'll make gift bags out of old calendars. Oh, great. And I've got a whole assortment of things to show you. Oh, my goodness. Let's hope this one works. I'm not used to my big... There's a lot of pressure when you have to do it live as well, yeah. I think. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yay! So, it worked. watch, everyone. I did the same thing. I just needed a bit more pulp. And sporadically also, we also <gasps> add a bit more... Um, we add a bit more warm water as the day goes on because this whole batch of soup oh, gets, gets cold. cold. Yeah. So, you know, if it's another class group that's coming through and you're doing it at school... Just duck out and get another jug of water. So you've got to keep carefully. it warm. Yes. Keep the water warm. So what I could do, Louise... Do you want me to move that? Yep. Let's put this down. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put, put this... For you. There we go. Just here. And um, what I can do now is dry my hands a little bit. And in the classroom setting, I will... Huh, add a few of these things over <laughs> now that it's... Not a wet place. It sort of gets a bit tricky here. What I can do with my bit of used envelope is cut a little piece of paper and I can write... I'll write Louise on this. <laughs> I'll give it to her. Sorry, over here. I keep moving off the screen. That's so right. there's the person's name, okay? So this piece of paper, even though that looks a bit funny over here, we end up compacting it with more and more of the same. Couching oh. cloth paper, couching cloth paper. Oh, right. So you might put 100 on top by the end of the day. Oh, so you just keep doing what you so did. Yep. even though that looks lumpy and bumpy, yep. it'll get squashed. Yep. Okay? <laughs> yep. Yeah. So then I can decorate this. Potentially, um, I just have some fabric that happens to look like a leaf because I was sewing the other night and I had some off cuts um, I can decorate this piece of paper but only with very thin things oh. it's very fine maybe I'll make some clouds up there or some, what have we got there some cotton just some cotton that oh. was left over I'll just make a random thing right yeah. now. <laughs> I um, saw you had some nice rosemary or something. Oh, no, well, yeah, whatever that a, was. No, not very, rosemary. Bit very thinner. fine things. That's it. You can use a, a leaf. This is looks a bit like a gum leaf. If you had a very thick piece of paper, you could put the gum leaf on. And if the paper didn't break, you could take that off later. And there would be an impression. Oh, yeah. Like a coin has an impression, you know? Oh, great. Like a fossil. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm putting um, some decorative things on. You don't have to. You don't have to at all. Makes it look very interesting, though. Yeah. So then, then I decide I'm finished. Oh, you can use thread. Beautiful. I've got some beautiful embroidery thread. I could do bits of that. Um, Good for so using I'm... up um, bits and pieces that yeah. are left over, too, isn't it? Yeah. And it's also possible to... Use a bit of um, lace or doily. Oh, look. And then you could put I that on. I know where you're going with that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, oh, later, lovely. if it's not too hard, if it doesn't break the paper itself, you can peel that off and you've got, again, oh, the impression. Wow. So there's lovely things you can do. Okay. That's so great. Then, to be polite, I'm going to get my next couching cloth. I'm so glad it worked, Louise. Oh, so That's am I. How terrified I was. Um, <laughs> You did very on. well under pressure. Because for the next person, that's the that's oh, polite. So then so the next person they've comes. They've gone and dipped and they've come out and they've gone, oh, my hands are full. And, mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's nice. I that's, see what you're saying. You're putting the cloth yeah. on so that the next person who comes along doesn't have to do yeah, that. Can, that's great. Yeah. Um, there's another trick you can do. Um, if, say, for example, that piece of paper was really thin or you wanted to do this, um, you could put something, some wool or something. While you're, while you're doing that, Maria, I'm just going to um, say to everyone, because we've got such great things going on here, I'm going to ask you to send in your questions to us as we're talking. So we might not have a little break yet. So think about some questions that you've got for Marie, and you can send them in on the chat. 
and uh, we'll see them come in as they come in and Marie and I will keep going because there's yeah. so many great things that she's got yeah. for us today. Yeah. So normally I finish that piece of paper and I put that on. Alternatively, I could keep going with this, put something fat there. Oh, yes. So that's, then, a bit of cloth, that's a bit of um, wool that you've got there, yeah. isn't it? Yep. And then I could go and put another piece of paper on top of that. So that oh. is effectively sandwiched between two bits of paper. Oh, so you wouldn't put the cloth on. You would then go back into the pulp and do it again and, and pop it on yeah, top. So, you can, oh, so you'd see it through the paper. You can have paper. a sausage. In, like imagine yeah. fat wool. You can sausage that inside it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So you'd have and quite a thick piece of paper, wouldn't you? You would then? have a thick yep. piece of paper, yeah. If this is too thin, you could go back in and dip it again. Wow. You could have done that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Sense. But essentially, that's, you know, what you do. And so, Marie, when the, um, I might be going ahead a little bit, but when the paper dries, you will know if that doily is oh. going to come off or not, won't you? It will just yeah, drop off decide. or you peel it off. Well, if I want to use it again, I'll peel it off. Yeah. And then I'll show, um, while we're talking about what happens afterwards, this piece of paper will be Louise's and then I'll make one that says Tess and then I'll make <laughs> one that says Stuart and then one that says Marie and I'll put I'll have a big stack yeah and I'll put something heavy on top a board maybe a big board and a couple of bricks or something for one or two days and outside probably because it'll squeeze the water will squeeze out yep so put something heavy on it for a few days to compress it. Days. Mm. And then, lo and behold, we peel these off and that thing <laughs> will hang up um, on the line and we'll put some peg, clothes pegs oh. and it'll dry for a day or so in the wind and um, it'll have Louise written on it and we can take the little label off that says Louise. Oh, okay. But if you're making yep. one for everyone in the class, there's no debate then about who's is who. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if there are lots of people having a go. Yeah, so you have to make a plain one. At least you have, yeah. You know. and, and then um, you can take your little name tag off. So you're compressing it for a few days first, yes, and then it's got to hang for a little while on the yeah, on the clothesline or in the or, in the, or in the classroom or wherever yeah, it might yeah. be. So you have to hang them like that, yeah. yeah. If that fell off, and I'm lucky it didn't today, um, then it's probably too wet to hang. Oh, right, yeah. Marie. I've got a question that's come in for you. Yeah, let's do them live. Well, the whole thing's live. But what is that big rectangular thing you use to make the paper sheet from the wet shredded paper. Oh, so I think the the decal. Yes. And and where, the decal. And where would you get one of these from? I know that's a um, lovely old one, but where where yeah, do we get something I, like that? Possibly um, if the people are in Hobart, um, Teros possibly the eco store. So Teros is um, just down from where we are, actually, here yeah, on Elizabeth, Elizabeth Street, Street in Midtown in, yeah. in Hobart. Um, I was given this, so I'm not sure. They used to sell them at the Wilderness Society, but we don't. I don't think there's a shop anymore. Maybe well, online. online. So, Alternatively, mm. there's some other ideas. Um, this oh. is an embroidery oh, hoop. Oh, yes. Right. So you could get one of those from um, Haberdashers or from Spotlight. Yeah. So that's effectively the um, decal. You can see I have used it before. And I put some mesh on the top. Got bits of paper falling off. And then the embroidery hoop um, is keeping it as oh, a frame. That's a good idea. Yeah. I'll so for those of you who are not familiar, the embroidery hoop comes with two uh, wooden circles and a little. you can tighten it with a screw. And then Marie's just added the, the mesh. Yeah. So when you buy the hoop, it doesn't come with the mesh. You have to add the, the mesh to the hoop. Yeah. Oh, then you could use, I suppose that becomes your um, decal. And then another hoop that is the same circumference could be your mould. Because you have yeah. to have those two pieces, don't you? You have to have that. Yeah. that. I mean, you could dip that in straight away and come out with yep. a bit of pulp. And then you turn it over and and do what you, you yeah. did with the bigger and one. And then you yep. do this... I don't want to get the floor all wet here, but imagine <laughs> I dipped in and I got my pulp 
So I could try it here. Wait a minute. Yeah. We'll just give it a whirl. So imagine you had your pulp on there. I don't want to turn the blender on while my hand's in there. No, I was and just then thinking that. Another experiment. Here we go. Flip. Um, press, press, press. There we are. Ah. A little piece of paper. So you, you could conceivably use something like that. Or when people are yeah. frying food, you get something like this with a handle and it's a mesh. Oh, yes. Yeah. You could use one of those. Oh. If so you weren't worried about the, the perimeter on the yeah. side, the actual um, shape, you could, yeah. Oh, now here's a question from yeah. Sonia. And Sonia says, where could you purchase a decal in Burnie? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, the old paper mill, the handmade paper centre. But I believe it might be closed now. Oh. I'm sure um, they would have them. I mean, they're the experts in Tasmania. In yes. Paper. You they have made ah, wallaby poo. Paper. Oh, yes. Roo poo. There's a lot of poo paper in the world, isn't there? Yes. There's sheep poo paper. I yeah. saw a program once. Yes. And they have made beautiful paper. Yes, poo. so people make paper out of linen. Um, That's real recycling, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the Bernie people used to make them out of denim and flannelette sheets. Oh, wow. Flannel or so pyjamas. All sorts of beautiful, things. Beautiful, beautiful paper. Yeah. Sonia, I was just thinking but, um, where, where you are in Bernie, maybe a couple of the um, antique stores. Uh, there's a big store in Devonport um, that I like to go to. They might You might be able to pick up you know, an older decal in one of those stores but i guess in bernie it might be online shopping yeah, it might be online or shopping. you could you could pick up maybe an embroidery hoop um online mm. um yeah it's a bit tricky isn't it because they're quite a specialized tool aren't they sorry i i lost my little bit of wool i'm going to show you the principle of um sandwiching one oh, thing yes. in between oh yes yep and then you can see the colour will come through Possibly. and the texture. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And if you at this stage and you put tissue paper on, you've decorated with tissue paper, yeah. it will bleed into the next person's one. Oh. So if they don't like your colour, <laughs> bad luck. <laughs> There's going to be trouble. But here we have, I call it a little worm. So we put, <laughs> imagine we'd made a beautiful thing, put that there, yep. press it down. Press, press, press. Eventually, when that comes out, You'll see the impression of that, that cotton that I had inside that wool. Oh, great. And then, to be polite... Oh, and these are moistened. Yes, they've got to be wet, don't they? Yeah. So I had a bucket over here with some couching cloths ready. And, Marie, that's going to be squeeze. a thicker piece of paper, obviously, because that's got yeah. quite a bit of pulp, hasn't it? Yeah, that's got a bit of pulp in it. You could make um, Christmas tree decorations out of something that size, couldn't you? Yeah. Maybe if you had something and you put it put inside it, it. Mm. yeah with this one um i would have had a cup or something um and i'd maybe put a bit of olive oil in it oh so it and comes so off when this dried yeah. and i put it under the wood heater yeah. when this dried it would have popped out uh, that. that's a good question i had for you um so if you do something thick like that little bowl that you just showed us yeah. do you have to do extra drying than just leaving it to dry yeah do you know what i mean does it yeah. need to be sort of you said you had it by the fire and needs mm. a little because it's so thick. Does it yeah. really need a bit of extra help to dry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't leave it out in the weather right now. Yeah, it needs longer. Um, there's another possibility, and um, I had a treat the other day, a little chocolate bar. You could put very um, fine little bits of foil. Some people put glitter. You know, you we don't make... use glitter anymore, do we? No, or we try people, not to use people glitter. Don't like it. No, it's not good for the mm. environment. So that's reusing and recycling. That's a that's Again. real reusing. Chopping and up your um, oh, chocolate my, wrapper. My friend at work has made paper out of lemon peel. Really? Yes. So what you collect all of the peel and then pulp She's it? She's dried it somehow. I'm not sure. So wow. yeah, people have been making paper for centuries, and it's a very interesting. Um, oh, my kids are at the Stone School. They call it a main lesson. They do a whole lesson on printing and paper and the history of writing. Wow. So, you know, you, we used to write with quills. And, yes. And typewriters and yes. the whole thing and calligraphy and beautiful 
Um, it's a lovely whole inquiry. I yes. Think. And originally paper, well, the Chinese did a lot to make paper available and accessible. And mm. I think that helped the world have access to books and mm. reading. It's very difficult if you're in Egypt to carry around a big tablet well, that's right. with hieroglyphs that's on it right. <laughs> and go off to school like that. Yeah, paper so, really has changed our lives, hasn't it? Has. it? I mean, uh, now it's computers, but paper really did have a huge impact on the world and education. Yeah. And, and I guess if you're making, um, you know, you see beautiful homemade paper for writing letters, which is mm. a lovely thing to do and to receive, you need to be careful about what pen you use, don't you? Because sometimes pens can... The paper is very porous, isn't it? It, it, it soaks mm. up ink. So you sort of have to choose yeah. the, the, the pen that you might be using quite carefully. And you don't want to rip the paper either. That's the other thing I've found when I've mm. written on handmade paper. You have to be quite gentle if you're writing yeah. a letter. If I was really good at this, I would have made very fine, beautiful paper. What um, I'm not an expert... What we could end up doing with this paper that says Louise is sticking that onto another piece of card. Oh, yes. And in the card, say, Happy Mother's Day. That'd be lovely. Yeah. That's so, a good idea. Yeah. yeah, so you put it onto a just a, a recycled card. But yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and make a beautiful so, card. What a great idea. Yeah, so all the few... cards that you make could actually be made from recycled paper. Yeah. And as I mentioned earlier, you could put seeds in that paper, like calistamine or beautiful native mm. or something or poppies or whatever plant that thing yeah in the ground in the ground the other thing That's is i mean that looks a little bit like a, a nice artwork to me you could actually <laughs> give that to somebody as a yeah as a picture yeah yeah it's wonderful so. yeah have we got any more questions that have come in no we haven't no questions from anybody it's not too late not too late to send in a question and while we're waiting, if there are any more questions, if you um, put these leaves into the double paper, will they show? Would they show through? Oh, like sandwiched? Yes. Um, you, you might see it, but they go brown. Oh, okay. <laughs> like I've got some um, rose petals here, which I could have put on. Um, like I've, potpourri. Yeah. For those of you who um, know what potpourri is, I've, <laughs> I. Um, hmm. They go brown when, when they get all wet with the paper petals. Um, but they give a nice bit of texture, don't they? Yeah, I, I had this actually for soap making. But um, this, if we add it, I think we should experiment. It might go brown. It might stay. Uh, but you asked about making an impression. We could put that in, sandwich it, and maybe it, it wouldn't go brown and bleed colour because... Um, it will be sandwiched. It's an experiment. It's it a is. Science it, there's experiment. A lots of different things you can do. Yeah. And and sort of just as we're finishing off, Marie, with this one that had the swirl, do you know how they achieve that swirl? I think she's made a batch of paper, this, this done a swirl, and then add, put, made, put some colour in the, some other and then added that. Oh, so, so she's sort of she's gone, gone like that. She might have gone like this. Because it's really pretty. Yeah, she might have um, gone... On the deck wall. Oh, my, my pup is very runny here. <laughs> um, something like this. You know, gone round. Ah, okay. And then dyed and then, it. Ah, and then flattened it. Yeah. I, I left this outside. I thought, maybe it's not so bad. It's got some soil in it. <laughs> <laughs> and then she might have got the red and then done the, the flip thing. Here's a question, Marie, while you're doing that. Yes. This is coming from Daniel. Thanks, Daniel. Can you use the wet shredded paper as paper mache? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yes. great and, question. Um, you can put PVA glue in, like white glue, craft glue, yes. in to make the paper mache a lot stronger. Oh. Yeah, so that doesn't have any white glue in it. It's a very humble little thing. But to add white glue... It makes it um, not very toxic. I wouldn't eat out of it. <laughs> no. <laughs> but um, makes it stronger. It's stronger and a little mm. bit shiny. Yes. I, I had my and son made um, a little paper mache bowl at school and it, it looked like that. It was blue on the inside and it had a little rim of sort of silver or something, but they definitely put, put the glue in 
Yeah, um, yeah that's a great question. Yeah. Thanks, Daniel. So that's another thing you can do with the paper. Yeah. Oh, I'm having fun over here, cutting yeah. <laughs> my paper. Um, oh, I got, that's all right. We yes, have some I other craft to do, but we probably don't have time. No, we, you'll that. have to come back on again. Oh, I will. Yes. And all right. Um, and I might have one more question. Let me just have a look here. Ah, will we be making gift bags today? <gasps> oh. Sonia asks. Oh. oh. We run out of Should time. I try and do it quickly? We've got five minutes, have we? We try and do it quickly. All right, I'll quickly All right. put these we'll do things an away. Express. Let me express. see if I can help you. Um, move all of these out of the way. If you can pass the calendar in the red bag. Sorry, everyone. Don't off the screen. There's a calendar. No, that's not. Oh, while I think of it. Here's my teaching manual, <laughs> <laughs> which has got paper making instructions in it. So we can put that on the link. Um, I'll hold that for you. You hold that. Yep. yep. Oh, that's great. So that's we the really um, the teaching manual about waste, and this one's about food waste, and they're yep. all available on the. Um, we'll put we'll put a link up for that on our yep. Facebook page. So, should we have the down camera? Yeah. Imagine my table was really clean. <laughs> uh, this is from the uh, oh gosh, from <laughs> the weather calendar. I'm going to cut the bottom. Actually, you don't have to. So I, I look at what's on the weather calendar, and I think, oh, I might like the rainbow on the front. So I'll flip it round, and I can send instructions. Fold it over. And then imagine I had my glue stick waiting. I would glue this line here. So I've effectively made a little tunnel. Yep. Okay? Yeah. I've made it a little cylinder, if you can see that. Then I'm going to about... Um, Two thirds of, oh, a quarter to two thirds of the way up, I'm going to fold it like this. It's a little bit awkward because calendars are all different shapes and sizes, but if you get the principle, and then I do what I call the frog. <laughs> so I'm going to squash that like that. Uh, yep. Yep. Clever. Yep. And then I go just beyond the middle crease to there and to here. And again, imagine I had some glue or some sticky tape. And that's basically it. But oh, that's clever. So that's how you get the bottom. Yeah, if so I had, it stands up. If I had glued it all, it would be nice yeah. and easy to... That's um, such a good way of that, using um, yeah. calendars and, and other bits so of... That's, an old calendar. That's yeah. great. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. And then you could sort of put a hole um, in the top and tie a, a ribbon or. Yeah, you could put, you could put um, some. For the whole punch. And on nice it if you thing. wanted to. So that's basically, I'm sorry, if I had glued it, it would be more robust, but it stands up. Yeah. So that's much the by trick. Itself. The trick is that little frog bit that you just did, yeah. Marie. Yeah, yeah. And I've got water all over it and everything because everything's been wet here. Oh, that's great. So, yeah. Another oh. tip I could have said was at the beginning to fold over the top so it's got a nice rim oh so it's got a nice yep yeah, edge on it so if we've yeah. got a minute left i'll do it yep. fast motion right <laughs> so no it pressure over, make a cylinder fold it up then the frog <laughs> Then da 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 da, and you would sticky tape okay. there, yep, and, or glue or there. Glue. Oh, yep. and a nice thing is to hook that over. So now, oh yes, yep. Bag. yep, that's great. 
Yeah, trust me, it does stand mm. up by itself. Oh, that's a wonderful way of reusing <laughs> yes. the calendar pages and, 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 and other things that you'll have. Look, thank you, thank you, Sonia, for reminding us about making yeah. um, gift bags we nearly forgot. Mm. Well, Marie, that's all we've got time for. Doesn't the yes. time go so quickly? Really thank you so much for coming in today again. It was lovely. It was, that yeah. was wonderful. I hope and everyone's going to be getting enthused about making their own paper and yeah. thinking about how you can recycle things. Now, just a note, as usual, if you're watching this as a recording from the Children's University portal, you might like to write a reflection about what we've talked about today. Now, next time on UCTV Alive for Kids, I'm really excited to welcome uh, Professor Greta Peckle. And uh, Professor Peckle works at IMAS, which is part of the university. And it's the Institute for Marine and Antarctic Studies or Science. I've got I've studies. got one of the studies, thank you. And she's going to come in and do a fabulous presentation called Squids and Other Suckers. So that's next time on UCTV Alive for Kids. But that's all we've got time for today. See you next time.